welcome children now we are with the lesson our water resources when we use the word water we know it's very important in our life so here you find an autobiography of water my name is drop of water i live everywhere i have many homes like an ocean a rainfall an aquifer or a glass of me i help people to perform many things they drink me use me to clean and cook offers me to plants and use me for many other chores however i feel hurt when in return they throw litter in my homes or leave me running out of taps they don't take care of me i won't help them any more this was an autobiography of water now we know water is the elixir of life e l i x i r meaning cure for all things we need to fulfill a basic needs for survival like drinking bathing cooking cleaning washing and irrigation this list can continue endlessly so we can conclude that life on earth cannot exist without water water constitutes 71% of the earth's surface hence our earth is known as a watery planet water can exist either as ice vapor or liquid it can be salty or fresh saline water is obtained from oceans and seas and fresh water is obtained from rain rivers and wells of the two it is only fresh water that is usable however fresh water constitutes only 3% of the total water on earth moreover the distribution of water is very uneven all of this makes water a very scarce and a precious resource which we should all conserve sources of fresh water the sources of fresh water are rain rivers lakes snow and underground water the main source of fresh water is rain farmers depend largely on rain water for irrigating their fields gardening and livestock it is usually collected on roofs of our houses and redirected to a deep storage pit rain water harvesting is traditionally practiced in many parts of our country like madhya pradesh rajasthan and tamil nadu when there is no rain they need other means of irrigation rain water flows mostly as rivers some of it collects in the lakes and tanks some of it goes to the underground thus we can say that india has plenty of rainfall in the monsoons but it is not uniform throughout india some places get a lot of rainfall while other places gets very little rain 
Moreover, the rain from the monsoon falls only between June and September.